Hello everybody. This week we are going to learn how to solve systems of linear equations algebraically. So, one of the methods used, it is called substitution, which means to replace. As you can see, we have two different linear equations, both of them they are in, they are in standard form, and each one of the equations, it has two different variables. Then, to solve an equation, we know that the equation needs to have exactly one variable. That's the reason for which one of the methods used, it is called substitution, which means to replace 4x using an expression in terms of y, or 4y using an expression in terms of x. But for doing this, first of all, we have to solve for one of the variables, and that variable, we will substitute it in one of the equations. In the example given, the two equations, and first of all, we will check the standard form, which is ax plus by, equals to c, we will check the coefficients for x and y variables, and we will choose the coefficient that has exponent one, uh, coefficient 1 that we can solve for it. In the first equation, the x, variable x, it has coefficient 1, so we will solve for it. I will take the, uh, the equation separate, x plus 5y, equals to negative 3. So the variable with coefficient 1, it is x, and we will solve for it. Minus 5y on both of the sides of the equality. It will be x equals negative 3 minus 5y. The value we obtain for x, we will substitute it into the second equation. So, in the second equation, instead of writing x, we will put the value that we found for it. It will be 3 times negative 3 minus 5y. This is called, we substitute, minus 2y equals to 8. In this way, we obtained a linear equation with only one variable, and we will solve for it. Distribute first, so 3 times negative 3 is negative 9, 3 times negative 5y is negative 15y, minus 2y equals to 8. We collect the like terms first, so negative 9 minus, negative 15 minus 2 is negative 17y equals to 8. Isolate the y term. So plus 9, plus 9, it will be negative 17y equals to 17. Over negative 17, over negative 17 on both sides, we found that y it is equals to negative 1. When we find the value of one of the variables, we will go back to the system and substitute in one of these two equations. So, easier, let's say it will be in the first equation because the coefficient is positive. So, I will take the first equation and instead of y, I will substitute with the value I got for it. It will be x plus 5 times negative 1 equals to negative 3. Simplify x minus 5 equals negative 3. Solve for x. Isolate the x. It will be x equals to 2. So the solution of the system, it is x equals 2, y equals to negative 1, that it can be written as a point. If we would graph the both equations, the two lines, they will intersect. We will find that they intersect in the point with coordinates to negative 1. The other method is called elimination. And this means one of the variables, 
to eliminate it that we can obtain one equation with one variable and solve for it. To eliminate, again, first of all, we need the standard form in both of the equations. And then we will look for the variable that has the same coefficient in both of the equations with different sign. So when we check the x, the coefficient is different. The first one has coefficient negative 7 and the other one 6. And the y, the coefficients are different too. So then none of the coefficients are the same that we can eliminate them. Then we will make them be the same. It will be easier to make the y coefficient be the same. So the first equation, instead of 2, I will look for 6. So to change the 2 into 6, I will do times 3. Don't forget, when you multiply, you have to balance the equation. So you will distribute the 3 times 3 in all the terms. So negative 7 times 3 is negative 21x plus 2 times 3. It is 6y equals 18 times 3, it is 54. The second equation, we keep it as it is, plus 6y equals to 0. In this way, we found that the y coefficient is the same in both of the equations. To eliminate the y, the coefficient it has to be the same with different sign such that when we add it will be equals to zero. So then in this case, because I have here six positive six positive six, between them I will do minus. As long as we do minus between the y terms, we do minus between all of the terms and it will be equals negative 21x minus 6x, it will be negative 27x. 6y minus 6y, 0, eliminated, equals 54 minus 0, it is 54. In this way, we obtain one equation with one variable that it can be solved. So we will simplify by negative 27. And x equals negative 2. We found the value for x. Then we will go back to the given system and we will substitute 4x in one of the equations. I will choose the second one. So instead of x, I will put the, the value, I will substitute with the value I found for it. It will be 6 times negative 2 plus 6y equals to 0. Simplify. 6 times negative 2 is negative 12, plus 6y equals 0. We isolate the y term, so plus 12 on both of the sides of the equality. It will be 6y, it is equals to 12, over 6 on both sides. It will be y equals to 2. So the solution of the system, it is x equals negative 2, y equals to 2, that it can be written as point negative 2, 2. Wish you a good week.